Hey guys, what's happening? This is Forgo Nation, and today we're going to do a little gameplay with good old Nick Fury. This is the team we're going to be running with, you guys. We're going to use good old White Fox here for that sweet tier 2 pass of hers. It increases damage dealt to super villain ties by 60% and only applies to characters with leadership, which luckily Nick Fury has. And we're going to use Coulson for the same good old thing. Increases damage dealt to super villain ties by 45% and increases guaranteed critical rate by 20% Let's take a look at my man here Now before we get in this build guys, we're gonna upgrade him a little bit First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna get some urus on this dude So we're gonna amplify these slots and anytime you amplify you want to try to amplify there we go Cool, you want to amplify at least four of the slots usually I hit the 30,000 I just multiply I just hit that however many times it takes to get to the have four amplified slots now you can hit the 300,000 gold there and it will amplify you know until you get all five slots amplified but I don't worry about having all five amplified it can get very expensive I would only do that on like uh, meta characters and Nick Fury's awesome but uh, I mean he's not I mean look he's not Sharon Rogers Okay, he's not Luna. He's not he's not like that, but he is freaking awesome. So let's go ahead and amplify the second slot here. Yep, two slots, no good. No, nope, no, nope, no good. Nope. Sometimes this can be a little time consuming. And something else, guys, when you're trying to amplify all five slots, on the average, you know, I used to try it before and I would try to figure out about how much gold on the average it would cost, but it's completely RNG based. But I've spent, you know, around 10 million trying to get all five slots amplified. 10 million in gold, guys. So it's not something I would recommend. Usually I just go for four. And, uh, yeah, hopefully we'll get that sometime soon. This is, uh, taking some time. <laughs> uh, come on now. Uh, such a pain in the rear. Come on. Let's go. Nope. Nope. There we go. Next one. Amplify that sucker. Nope. Hmm. La -dee -da -da -da. All right. Sweet. That wasn't too bad. Hopefully this won't be too bad either. Come on now. Hmm. Nope. Oh, yay! <laughs> I used 4 million gold. Hmm. Oh, man. Such a pain in the butt. Oh, sweet. Here we go. Okay. Now, what you want to do, guys, is you want to figure out what kind of character you have. A lot of you guys already know this, but some of you out there don't. So, just the guys that do know this, just bear with me for a moment. I just look at the first attack stat on the first uh, opening page here and if it says physical attack I'm going to equip physical urus if it says energy attack then I'll equip energy attack urus so let's equip some urus here I got some four star physical attack already ready to prime and ready to go so we're gonna equip a couple of these and usually I always roll these uh, urus to four star And then while they're equipped, I will, while they're equipped in the amplified slots on the gear, then I will try to roll them to five star. Let's go ahead and get all these on there. Dun, 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 dun. There we go. Da, 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 da. And it doesn't matter, like, it doesn't matter where you put the Urus at, guys. Just make sure you put the Urus that you are using, especially your attack Urus. Just make sure you put them in the amplified slots wherever they may be on the gear. I mean, I could put it anywhere I want, but I always like to have my attack gurus across from each other. That's just my thing. There we go. Now, we're going to go ahead and enhance these suckers. Booyah! Okay, that took three tries. Let's see how many tries this takes. Only one try, sweet. Let's go to this one here. Okay. Oh, one try, nice, I like that. 
Nice. Three tries. That's not too bad. So far, we're getting pretty lucky with this. Ooh, one try. Nice. Keep it coming. Keep it coming. Woo, sweet. Oh, yeah. We're going to get lucky again. Sweet. Okay, so my character's still at level 60. Uh, let's take a look at his detail page here and see what we got going on. He's got 196 critical damage and he's got 36 crit rate. That crit rate's really, really low. And let's take a look here and see if he's got any crit rate in here. Dun, 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 dun. Pretty sure he doesn't. I don't think he has any crit rate buffs. Nope. Nope. No crit rate buff. Okay. So, well, well, let's take a look at what we got going on. So, now what I would be probably doing, since my crit damage is high, so high, and, and one more thing, since he's level 60, guys, you see my ignore defense, the way it works out on my account because of my cards, the amount of ignore defense I have in my cards, a lot of my characters will have about 48% ignore defense at level 60. So whenever I take him to level 70 and I take this last gear up to 25, that blue stat will you know, be a number around 2,000. And then my ignore defense will be like over 50%, just a little over 50%. So I don't ever put ignore defense urus on my characters usually because I don't need to. Usually I get the ignore defense from this blue stat and from my cards, so I don't have to worry about it. So it's really just a you know, attack urus or critical rate and critical damage on my account. So since that critical damage is so high, let's take a look and see if I got any uh, crit rate urus. Oh man. Ooh. <laughs> we are lacking on the crit rate. I got one six star and I'm not equipping that sucker. Just, oh man, I need to do some farming, man. I am freaking hating life right now okay guys so we're just gonna have to stop there crap that sucks so let's run through the build now so now he has 21,800 physical attack he has 129 attack speed more or less max attack speed he has 36 crit rate which I, I do want to get that up so I'm gonna have to farm for some crit rate urus but I will get that up and then he's got 196 critical damage and 48% ignore defense and max skill cooldown. And there's that leadership for White Fox. It's all of his gears are 20, and you guys know that he has 5 star physical attack urus. All of his skills are at level 6. He has a stage 6 power of Angry Hawk set. And he has a CTP of energy with a 180% proc. I honestly would like a 200% proc on him just because I love Nick Fury. Now let's take a look at his uni here. Let's take a look at this. Now, I got a lot of uh, resources here, so what we're going to do, guys, is we're going to go ahead and use up some resources here. Okay, now nah, we're not using no ticket. There we go. Nope, 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 too early. Let's, uh, there we go, max that out. Okay, so I need 60 bios. I got them, so let's go ahead and ramp up that a little bit. I love me some Nick Fury, so I gotta, I gotta invest in this guy a little bit. Let's see, can we go up one more time? Let's find out. Uniform upgrade. So I need 120 bio. So, yeah, we can go ahead and do this one again. Okay. Now I think I'm gonna be screwed now. Yeah, I need more bios now, so I'm pretty much screwed. Can't go any higher. Now let's take a look at my options. First option is dodge, which is fine. That's what I want. Um, you can get attack speed from it or skill cooldown, but I got plenty of skill cooldown and my attack speed is almost maxed out, so dodge would be the best stat here. The second stat here. Oh, sweet Captain America. That is awesome. Energy defense, that's a crap. We want physical attack here. There we go. And obviously, if he was an energy dealing character, you'd want energy attack, physical attack. Sweet. And I need Moon Knight's uni, but that's okay, man. I mean, you can get ignore defense here, but I'll, I can, I don't know, guys. Like, 
I don't have this uni because it, it it makes him better, but Moon Knight's in a place in this game where it, he's really just a Shadowland guy, and that's unfortunately that's about all he is. Okay, you guys. So let's take old boy into Thanos and let's see how he does. Let's rock and roll. So let's try stage 20 and see if uh, old Nicky boy can take the purple monkey down. So we're going to start with that 5, get that immunity bubble going on, then hit that 4. Booyah, there's that proc. Woo, look at that damage. Man, this dude's mean. Granted, we do have two pretty awesome supports, but still pretty freaking mean. You know, the fact this guy's still... St you know, level 60 is uh, it's pretty impressive, guys. Few characters could do this. And what I'm doing is, because that cooldown on that 4 is so long, I'm just trying to use the, the bubble as a safety net. Like, I'll use the bubble, the 5 and the 4, and then after that I might use the 1 and 3. And I'll use, like right there, I just use the bubble to have a safety net, because it is an immunity... And Thanos can't debuff it. He can't really do no damage to you while you're inside that thing. So that's kind of like your safe haven, if you will. You know, you really want to try to stay in there. It's, you know, that's the thing about old Nicky boy. And we're doing this with no strikers, so I'm not bringing in no heals, no nothing. And we're just going to take uh, the purple monkey down just with good old Nick. And I know I've said this before, but man, I really wish we got to play. I wish Nick's uniform was with the eye patch. And the base kit was just him with that, you know, the young version of him. It doesn't really make sense to me why the old version is, you know, the old version is the original version, and the uni is the young version of him. It doesn't make much sense. Wouldn't you think that he'd be a lot stronger and more powerful if he was had the uni? Like, I don't know, guys. Isn't that kind of strange? I think it's a little. I think Netmarble kind of made a crappy choice there. I think all of us would prefer him with the eye patch, but that's neither that's neither here nor there. So it is what it is. And I gotta tell you guys, this wasn't exactly easy to do. Like uh, Nicky Boy requires some a little finesse when you're playing with him. You really want to utilize that bubble. That <laughs> that thing is your safety net, and you really have to be very careful. Like right there, Thanos got his blue balls coming out at you, and as long as I'm in that bubble, I'm okay. And one thing about Nick is, man, he's got some awesome movement speed. This dude can run. And you guys, if you've been watching me for a while, you know I'm all about that. Whoa, 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 whoa. Watch out, watch out. Yeah, I'd have probably bit it right there. Crap. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Run around here a little bit. Switch back to Nick. Here we go. 5-4. Well... That didn't, that didn't last very long. <laughs> Grab. I didn't realize we were so close to the next little phase here. Grab. Oh, well. Run out here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Switch to Nikki boy. Man, that turret is so awesome. I can't get enough of that thing. That is so cool. Now, here's where you got to be really careful. So, I'm going to hit the immunity just to make sure it'll... Uh, Nick can't do anything to me. Or uh, that Thanos can't do anything with to me. Whoa, whoa, careful there, careful. Now, buddy, we're gonna do some damage to your punk butt. Oh, yeah, look at that freaking damage. Whoa, whoa, okay. Alright, alright. Man, Nick does move, though, man. He is fast. Isn't it funny how a regular human is faster than superhero, some superheroes in this game? <laughs> Whoa, I took a hell of a shot right there. Damn, blue balls got me. Man, I hate it when that happens. That's alright, that's alright. I'm not going to finish this fight, you guys, because I'm trying to uh, get them books from Ebony. Those universal books. And I actually, I'm using White Fox now for one of my daily clears. So, yeah. We're gonna, I think we're going to end it right here. Yeah, okay. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching. Y'all take care and have a good one.